Hey guys, it's Ashley. So today I'm going to be doing a haul for you guys of everything that I got in Washington, D.C. because I got back from there a few days ago and I decided to show you guys everything that I bought. Okay, so the first place that I went um, on the very first day that I got there was Ford's Theater to take the tour of where Lincoln died, the theater where he was shot, and then the house. And so what I got there was a pair of drumsticks for Hunter, but I already gave those to him, so... You guys don't get to see those. And that was the only thing I actually got there. But I got a shirt that same day, like a few minutes later. And it just says Authentic Washington District of Columbia. Gray with very bright neon yellow on it. And I really like this. This is my first shirt and I'm really excited to get it. Now I'm not doing these in order because... Frankly, I don't know what order I bought all this. This is... I believe this is from the Lincoln Memorial. Yes, this is from the Lincoln Memorial. I got a few things. The first thing I got was a shirt. And I was so debating because I think the shirt was like a little bit over $20. And I didn't really want to spend over $20 for a shirt. Because I plan on getting a shirt every place that I went. So... This is the shirt I got. It's bright pink and it just says Lincoln Memorial, Washington, D.C. And then the back has the picture and some facts. And then I got a bookmark and I got, I got a lot of postcards because postcards are awesome. I never knew because you get like really clear, nice pictures and then you get descriptions on the back. So I got one of, I believe that's the Lincoln Memorial and then Washington Monument and that's on the 4th of July and then that is Lincoln himself well not himself but the next thing here is the Smithsonian and this is from the natural Smithsonian I think there was like a lot of Smithsonians but this is from the Natural History Museum the first thing I got was a shirt this is like my favorite shirt at the moment I love it so much I will never go back to that museum though. I was very excited to go and I get there. The staff couldn't give a crap. They were talking to each other. They were not helpful. I got so lost and they would not help me at all. I was all alone and they wouldn't help me. And parents didn't give a crap. They were letting their kids climb all over the stuff. It was just honestly the worst way to end my trip. That was the very last thing I did because I was so excited to do it. And no, staff didn't care. Parents didn't care. Kids didn't care. They were climbing all over stuff. The staff wasn't stopping them. The staff was like, go ahead, do it. They weren't paying attention. If you went to the checkout, the staff was talking to each other and they wouldn't help you. So there were lines forming and they wouldn't check anyone out. It was honestly the worst possible thing. They really need to step it up. Cause I also went to the American History Museum and that was so like strict. Not like, not like strict, but they were like, no waters. This one was just kind of like, walk in, whatever. Do like, you could have a bomb, whatever, just walk in. And no one was climbing that stuff and yeah. So I got this shirt from the Natural Museum and then I got a picture of the elephant and postcard and I actually saw the elephant and then I got a thing of the dinosaurs but I didn't get to see the dinosaurs I didn't know where they were the staff wasn't helping me they wouldn't tell me what level anything was on and I think there were like five levels and I wasn't gonna walk through every level because there were different sections to every level and I didn't have like two hours to spend in there I had like 30 minutes this is from the Holocaust Museum which also I love learning about the Holocaust. It's my favorite subject to learn. A lot of you guys know. And so I went here and it was pretty awesome. There were those people that would honestly just block off the entire walkway so you'd have to squeeze through. But it was fun. I really enjoyed learning about it. And it was a lot to take in from... Because school teaches you minimal crap. And it doesn't... Not all of it. Sure, you get... And I went there and I was like, wow, I was taught none of this. I was taught something like that. But I was taught totally wrong because schools don't know, honestly. But here I have a shirt, which I don't know where my shirt is. It is a black shirt. I got a bunch of pamphlets that I can read. So the first thing is this little baggie. I got, um pen it just says united states holocaust memorial museum united states army liberating division i got a mechanical pencil it's purple it says united states holocaust memorial museum so this is my identification card you get one of these when you go in so everyone just grabs one randomly and they're separated by gender so i obviously got the girl one 
and they give you someone that was actually in the Holocaust in jail. Mm -hmm. And so her name, the person I got, um, I'm Bertha Alder. I was born June 20th, 1928 in Sol Solotivo, Czechoslovakia. So yeah. And I was the middle child and I was 11 when I was taken or when Germans came in to the place I was living and then 15 when I was deported to Auschwitz. So she was actually at the Auschwitz camp. So I was at the Auschwitz camp, Auschwitz camp. And then I was deported May 19th, 1944 and I was gassed two days later. So this is a bookmark. I'm not gonna read this one cause I actually wanna read the other one for you guys. Um, cause I got two things with the same thing on it. And so then I got this keychain of a picture that a kid in the Holocaust drew. This is the bookmark. I won't read it yet because I have another thing with the same. I got this giant, giant postcards of pictures that kids drew in memory of kids that died in the Holocaust. So I thought that was really cool. And then I have another one. Where is it? Here are more pictures that other kids drew. And then... This is a picture of someone who witnessed people being taken from their homes to go into a concentration camp. So this person got didn't get taken, but not at the time anyway. And so they took them from their homes and yep, we all know how that goes. Um, I don't remember buying this. It's just, that is, I believe, another symbol of the Nazis. And this is one of the concentration camps. It's very interesting. This was one town of people, and this was very all the way up there and all the way down, and I walked through this, and it was really cool. And then this says, what do you stand for? And then it just has courage, honesty, citizenship, wisdom, a lot of different words. And this is the bunks they were kept in. They had five to six people in each of these, so basically there would be 12 people in this one bed. And then... These are honestly my two favorite postcards that I got. So this one is of old shoes. Um, they had a whole room filled with old shoes that they collected from the camps because they wouldn't run the shoes. They were leather, so they kept them and they got the shoes and they put them in the museum. It says, we are the shoes, we are the last witnesses. We are shoes from grandchildren and grandfathers from Prague, Paris, and Amsterdam, and because we are only made of fabric and leather and not of blood and flesh, each one of us avoided the hellfire. Isn't that so sad? This is the thing that also has what the bookmark has on it. It's this honestly amazing thing. First they came for the communists, and I did not speak out because I was not a communist. Then they came for the trade unionists, and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews, and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. Then they came for me, and there was no one left out to speak for me. The next thing is Madame Tussaud, which I only got one thing here. They didn't have any shirts of Madame Tussauds, which I'm still really upset about, but it's okay. I have this setting up here. I got an Oscar or an award. I got an award. And it's just like that. It says Madame Tussaud on it, and then on the back, I got a plaque that says Ashley Lane. I went to the American History Museum and I got three things here. First thing I got was a pencil because I wanted something from there and I really wish I would have gotten the shirt but it was like almost $30 so I was like, um, and then I got some, um, astronaut ice cream which I made a video about with Hunter so if you just want to see that because I don't know, I think I threw the packages away. And then this is the last thing. This is from Mount Vernon, which is George Washington's house, which is very cool to learn about. So I got three shirts. Um, I think one of them is on the other side of my bed, which is just navy blue, and it says Mount Vernon. But these came in a pack of three for 20, so I was like, heck yeah. And so I got this one. It says, property of Mount Vernon, 1674, Virginia. The gray and blue one have the same pattern. Now I got two postcards here. I got his house. And then I got his house way, way, way back in the day. I got this at the Arlington Cemetery, yes. I got two pencils because I loved what these pencils say. Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country, which is John F. Kennedy. 
which I saw his grave. And then mankind must put an end to war, or war will put an end kind to mankind. I got a picture, a postcard of the, um, the Vietnam Wall of Veterans. I actually got to shake a hand of a Vietnam veteran. It was really awesome. Just a collage of pictures from the Arlington Cemetery. I have that picture again, but not on the 4th of July. And then I didn't get to see this, but I know I the very popular picture and I know what it is, so I obviously got it. And then the Vietnam Wall again. And whew, very powerful thing to see so like there was so many people on that wall but yeah that was it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next video so bye